everyone, it's me, Ma, from Campfire. And today we're going to talk about what you should pack if you're coming to overnight camp. So we have a packing list online, but you can also watch this video because I have all of our items that we need right here. So to start, uh, t-shirts are really important. Um, I would bring a few t-shirts uh, to last you the week here at camp. Sometimes uh, they get dirty, so something you don't care too much about. Um, so I brought my tie-dye shirt that I tie-dyed here last year at camp. And then also you would need shorts to go with your t-shirts because it is really hot here in the summer in Minnesota. So it's important that we wear shorts at camp as well. Uh, down at the waterfront, you can go swimming in the lake. So it's important that you bring your swimsuit, of course, and a beach towel like this one here. And it's also really important that you bring your water shoes. So I have here tacos. They are uh, sandals that um, strap all the way around my feet and won't fall off when I am swimming. We do require shoes down at the waterfront when you are swimming. So it's really important that you have shoes like this or uh, just classic water shoes, but no flip flops because those can easily fall off when you're swimming and having fun down at the waterfront. So other shoes I would bring are, um, I brought my hiking shoes because they're closed toed shoes. We have some activities here at camp like archery and uh, climbing a rock wall, climbing on the rock wall or um, on the high ropes that require closed toed shoes to do those activities. So uh, any shoes like this, you could also wear Crocs, but a tennis shoe would be best for running around and having fun at camp. Something else that I would bring is of course a sleeping bag like this one here. Um, because you will be sleeping in a bunk bed just like this one, either on the top bunk or on the bottom bunk. So it's important that you bring a sleeping bag and a pillow like this. You can also bring a fitted sheet. Uh, we do not provide bedding here at camp, so it's important that you bring your own. Something that will keep you cozy here at night as it gets a little bit cooler. Something else that you should bring is uh, long pants. So sweatpants like this, uh, either to sleep in or for a chillier morning. Um, so long pants, and then also a sweatshirt to keep you warm or a zip up fleece, something like that, uh, to keep you warm either at night at our campfires or uh, early in the morning. Um, and then we never know what the weather's gonna be here at camp, uh, but you can always come prepared. Bring a rain jacket, as sometimes it does rain here at camp. Uh, so it's important you bring a rain jacket. Some other things to come prepared with uh, is a hat as it gets really sunny and some sunglasses would be great uh, to keep that sun out of your face along with uh, a hat and sunglasses. Sunscreen is super important. And if you forget this stuff, uh, just let us know. We always have extras. Um, Bug repellent is also really important as it gets buggy here in the summer, especially as we're going on hikes out on our trails. We really want to wear uh, bug repellent and also long socks are important as well. And lastly here, I have a, uh, a headlamp. So um, as we play games in the evening or you need to go to the bathroom at night, it's important that we have a flashlight or a headlamp just like this uh, so you can see where you're going at night. Um, and I packed all my stuff here in a duffel bag, so you can pack in a duffel bag or in a suitcase, uh, anything you can easily carry by yourself to the cabin and out of the cabin. We hope to see you at camp. Bye.